Two Gun Review, and today we are reviewing other than the Brigands Law. I've been asked, even by the clan, when are you gonna, you should really try this gun out. You, when are you gonna do a gun review? And I've been saying, when I feel like it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've done a Peacebound video, and I've even, I'm gonna state the same things I sit in that. I don't, I don't like sidearms. <laughs> That, that's where, like, there are some sidearms I like, but majority of them I hate. Just because they don't feel as good. And they were telling me, oh, this thing feels really good, you will like it. Well, it's a rapid fire. So, I'm expecting high. If it, if it doesn't perform, it's not there for me. I have another sidearm gun I finally got, so I'm going to also do a gun review on that. So, I'm very happy about that. But that's going to be for a more, another day video. But, let's go over the role I have on this Brigands Law. We got Course Crew Rifling, Paragon Rifling, Agorized Rounds, a Pendant Mag, Threat Detector, Increased Reload Stability and Handling when enemies are close to proximity, which I think this also goes very well with Surrounded. I haven't seen Surrounded on a many weapons, and this is one of the weapons that gets it, and I'm like, wow, that's surprising. This weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity with a range mass work, which I think range is a little bit good on a uh, sidearm, or you can choose the stability. I think this is glitch. Uh, if you really want to get the most out of surrounded until they uh, put it on, you can put a surrounded spec mod. This also increases the damage granted by surrounded, but also the damage lingers after you kill. So, but this will be eventually built into surrounded, which I'm excited for. Uh, makes the gun a little bit more or better and fun. But I do. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Maybe Yoda. Show me you can take ground. Sorry, Hold like my zone. sister is a big fan of Yoda. I think that's really cool. I saw one dude that actually got the colors right. I was like, wow, that looks really cool. Enemy claimed zone A. Fifteen bullets. Captured zone C. Eh. We'll see. Because for me, for a good sidearm, I don't. I, I, I'm not. I don't know. No. Dude. What the hell? All right, whoever told me this thing was good, you're lying. It's not. I don't like this. I really, I already don't like this thing. Enemy claimed zone B. Like again, I stated, I don't like sidearms. There are zone good C ones. And there's Enemy three sidearms this season, and I am gonna re review them all this season. Not recover, not but review all three. One of them I'm having expectations I'm gonna like just because uh, I, I used to play a lot I played a lot of Destiny 1 back in my day not used to I played a hell lot of Destiny 1 and all oh, one of the weapons I do remember is the Havoc Pigeon that is actually gonna be coming back there we have two of them with the suppressor is that one or the Iron Banner version? The Keening or the Iron Banner version? The Keening is one of my favorite uh, sidearms. One of them with the Peace Bound. But the, my Peace Bound has a lot, and you won't be getting the Peace Bound anymore because they vaulted it. Do I think it's that it was stupid? We will see. Because if this new sidearm that's coming out isn't good I'm gonna be angry cause if I like the one that's in the kinetic slot oh I'm gonna be pissed I didn't even kill the guy and I land first shot this thing sucks I like hold it on to this roll I think it's just because I have a terrible roll but honestly I'm not Don't satisfied. Your enemy has a power play. This this isn't like I've stated. I hate sidearms. I'm gonna do reviews on them. Much as I hate them, there we go. We gotta kill. You have God, you don't 
definitely I want that one perk I saw the other. Oh boy, good show. We're gonna lose this if we don't step it up. I, I'm not even gonna joke with you. We're gonna lose this if we don't step it up. Hey, we did a gun review on that. <laughs> Man, it's funny to see some of these weapons like I've done previously on gun reviews and they're coming back and like gu guns of fight have to fight. Oh, sure. But I was up to like 3 in the morning just farming uh, I was farming, for, I'll give you guys a hint, it, actually, you know what, I'll just tell you, I was farming out the for Sonic Nightmare, I want to do something with it, but there's one more weapon required so I can run this subclass, like, one more weapon, just one, uh, I need the Inquisitor Shotgun, I did, I did my math, okay, if I get Feuded Barrel, and then I get Acura Ice Rounds, uh, Petrit Motion, and Opening Shot with a Handling Master. I'm sitting off at basically a hundred, uh, a hundred range and a hundred handling. Because Opening Shot will always make sure you're at that hundred percent range that it, that thing is. And it's a sluggy. And it's in the R slot. And I've done my math, that's what I want, because Feuded Barrel gives you a plus 15 in handling. The weird, the funny part is, it actually gives it so, so much handling, it literally is almost at max. That's the funny thing. Doesn't hurt your stability and doesn't hurt your range, so I think Feuded Barrel will probably be a barrel I'm going to definitely be going for. I'm gonna get a kill this time. I'm not gonna whiff it. I ah, should have saved it for that. You captured Zone C. You I just have got Goomba stomp. Man. Double down, triple down. How? Okay, I was low. I was actually, you know what? I was low. That was fair. I was low. I don't like this item. I'm not. Mm -mm. This is a miss. This is a big miss on this item, though. I don't like this thing. And a lot of people said, man, you would really like this sidearm. I hate sidearms. And again, I've stated the Peace Bound and the Keeney are like the only two I really like. And I think there's like one more. But I don't use exotics. I've used the Rat King, yes, but like, eh, I, I only use it for the memes. If I were to actually use it, uh, no. I, I wouldn't even bring in the Crucible. You know, we just were staying at 120. And. Keep fighting. You'll get it. Fifteen. Yeah. Nah, man. It's not for me. This gun's not for me. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, honestly, I'm gonna still stand by what I stated. I don't... I hate sidearms. Like, there are a few that I will go off in and say they're really good. But I hate this one.
And I was told, oh man, you're going to love this cider, Max. You're going to love it. And they're wrong. I hate this cider. Rapid Fires, there are some good ones and some bad ones. And I would say this one is one of the bad ones, in my opinion. For anyone else, if you like sidearms, by all means, go for it. I, This is my own opinion. I, I just don't like a lot of sidearms. Like, I hate a lot of sidearms, actually. I... There's only a select few. And I we are going to cover the other two sidearms. That is going to be the goal. But I have many other guns I have to review. I'm even going to do a linear fusion. And that's going to be in the heavy slot. And we have to do PvE for that one, unfortunately. Any of my heavy weapons, I'm definitely going to be doing PvE. Because I have to show it off. But I'm going to have to do a little bit more editing towards the PvE things. I've never done that, actually. So, it's going to be a little interesting, short in this clip, because I know a strike can take about 15, 20 minutes. So, I'm only going to probably do the gunfight showing off the weapon. Uh, any of you, if you guys did enjoy this video, as much as I enjoy making these, please consider subscribing and turning on notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any gun reviews. And, of course, hit that like button. Liking this video improves the odds of having other people see it and this video gets more views. And another thing, I also have a Twitch channel if you guys want to go watch me on Twitch. I might be live later today playing another game or playing this. Uh, go check it out. It's just the Axe channel. You might like it. I don't know. I just mainly stream on there for now on. And thirdly, and this is going to be a big one, Thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And if so, good on you. And if not, I hope I brought a little bit more joy to your life as you saw me miserably trying to do something. But hey, do. I'll catch you later. Peace.